Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Lectures in Lab Coats. My name is Sparks and I will be a lovely lab coated lecturing let's player and today I want to do some experiments to help us draw some conclusions as to which of the two popular trigger entities used by command blockers is the better suited, comparators or armor stands. I will be testing them both while idle, while testing for a player condition and while testing for other conditions by getting their respective method to place a redstone block if a condition is true to see how they compare in server CPU and RAM usage. Let's begin by comparing the processing power required by a server to include these two entities in the world passively. We're going to do this by using many, many copies of our experiments to amplify the differences between them. In the top right you can see the CPU and RAM usage for the server, which is running 1GB of RAM and is hosted by Fragnet. So let's look at comparators first. Here you can see I have a command block setup that is going to place 4096 comparators into the world at once. We should be able to observe the server's behaviour as we do so. Placing a redstone block here to the set block for comparators, you can see that the server CPU spikes up from 1 to 10%, while the RAM remains steady. Surprisingly, the CPU then drops back to 1%. You can see that there are no blocks against the backs of the repeaters to make sure they're idle and not testing for block power level or contents. Let's see how the server fares with as many armor stands. So in this setup I have a fill clock continuously summoning armor stands in one spot with a marker tag and a custom name, as to be of any use in command block contraptions, a custom name is usually needed and a scoreboard counter that keeps track of the number of armor stands that have been summoned is here. Let's see what the server does as the armor stands are summoned. As you can see the armor stands appear for a brief moment before the marker tag is noticed, but the CPU and RAM on the server are quickly rising and I'm forced to stop the clock as the CPU reaches almost 100% at only 630 or so armor stands. Compared to the 0% CPU increase caused by the comparators, this is a drastic difference, so at least in idle situations comparators trump armor stands hand down. However, this may change when the two entities are updating and processing information. After a lot of work, I have a new test setup to look at comparators and armor stands as they process information. It took friggin' ages. On the left you can see that there are command blocks testing for players with a test score of 1. If they succeed, the comparator sets a redstone block which is then immediately turned back into wool. On the right we have as many armor stands as we have comparators on the left. The stands are having their success count logged on the test scoreboard by using this command. They test for a player with a test score of 1 and then any stands that detect a player with that score successfully will set a redstone block that is immediately turned back into wool. The units are split so that there are 11 tests in each chunk. This is to avoid passing the magic 63 rule which, as I understand it, means that if there are more than 63 updates in a single tick in a chunk, the entire chunk is streamed to the client, reducing performance. I was told about this while researching for this video and there's a link to the video I referenced in the description that I encourage you to check out. Pulling up our server info and starting with our 66 comparators, let's set our test score to zero so they can't find us and start the clocks. The CPU hovers around 3% until we stop the clock. Repeating this with a score of 1 so they can find us, you can see the CPU rises from 1% to about 10 to 15%. And now for the armor stands. Setting our score to zero so the test for fails, you can see that the CPU rises to about 30% or about 10 times that of the comparators. Doing it again with our score set to 1, our CPU wobbles around the 50% mark. So purely from a processing perspective, it seems comparators are much less intensive on a server than armor stands, but I'm beginning to feel that my original question at the start of this video of which is better is not quite such a simple answer. Even though comparators seem to have an advantage in performance, this is negligible unless you're working on a large project and comparators have a few noticeable disadvantages of their own. There have been numerous reports of comparators locking in the on position, something I've run into myself, but bugs aside, comparators process information the tick after they receive it, whereas armor stands can react and output in the same tick, making them faster. Comparators won't turn on in many situations where a 20Hz clock is used, and they don't output a pulse, staying on until the condition is retested as false, which can often be a pain while armor stands can generate a pulse easily with a set block command. It seems to me the use of one or the other depends on the situation. Many people aren't aware that you can test for conditions with armor stands, so hopefully this video will make more redstoners aware of that possibility, while perhaps bringing to the attention of the redstoners who belligerently refuse to use comparators and complain when they see others use them, that perhaps they do have a place in some larger situations to keep the overall CPU usage to a minimum. Whatever the case, I hope you find this information useful, let me know what you think and whether there are other things in Minecraft you'd like me to test, and I'll see you next time.